Hey guys, it's Karina here with another video. Um, so yeah, this week I'm going to be talking about Is God Real? kind of part two. Um, I found some more interesting stuff that I thought you guys would find interesting. Um, so this past week at camp, we had two different camps going on. Um, SIAC, which stands for um, Special Needs Young Adults Camp. And that was going on from Sunday to Wednesday. And in the morning we do a devotional called Quest. But then for day camp, um, that happens from Monday to Friday, and we do like a thought for the day. So on Thursday, um, a couple of my friends did a thought for a day, um, a thought for the day, and they talked about um, this thing called laminin. Um, so it was super cool. Um, so laminin is essentially a cell or protein in our body that literally holds everything together, and it's in the shape of a cross. Like I kid you not. Here, I'll show you guys a picture. Um, just give me one second. Um, yeah, but it's literally the coolest thing. Um, so here is a picture, um, of it. So, um, it's literally shaped in a cross, and I encourage you afterwards to look it up and get a closer image, but yeah, so that's a diagram of it, and then this is like an actual cell, microorganism, whatever picture of it. Um, so super cool, um, the official definition says... Um, laminin is a protein that is a part of the extracellular matrix in the human and animal cells. Sorry, in humans and animals. Um, the extracellular matrix lies out the outside of the cell and provides support and attachments for the cell's inside organs, along with many other functions. Laminin has arms that associate with the glue of other laminin molecules um, to form sheets and bind cells. Laminin and other EC ECM proteins essentially glue the cells, um, such as those lining the stomach and intestines, to um, a foundation of connective tissue. This keeps the cells in place and allows them to function properly. The structure of laminin is very important for its function. One type of the conjugational mus muscular dystrophy results from defects in laminin. So. That was a lot of scientific terms, but essentially laminin holds us together. It's one of the most crucial proteins in our body, and without it we would be like, it's super important, glues us together, binds us, it holds us together. Just like our faith in how God holds us together, which is so, so cool. And like the fact that it's shaped in the cross, it's just like, wow, like God is so cool. Like, oh my gosh, yeah, it's just, and the article goes on and on. Um, and Louis Giglio, a f pretty famous pastor, if you haven't heard of him, um, I actually saw him live at Passion. Um, anyway, super cool guy. He did a sermon on laminin and talks more in depth um, about it. And I can put his, um, uh, he has two sermons. Well, there's like, it's the same sermon, just there's a five minute clip and then there's like the actual 40 minute thing. Um, so I'll put those in the description box below. I haven't actually watched the full 40 minute thing, I just watched the quick five minute clip. But anyways, super cool. And he talks about in his sermon, um, in Colossians 1.15, um, it says, the son, of, is, the son is the image of the invincible God, the firstborn of all of creation. For in him all things were created, things in heaven, on earth, heaven and on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or powers or rules or authorities, all things have been created through him and for him. He is before all things, and all things he holds together. So this is just like, it's saying, he creates the invisible and invisible. So this is a, like, we can never actually fully see this protein, right? Um, so like, he's holding the invisible and the visible together. He holds everything together. He created everything in this world and designed it uniquely, and it's just beautifully and wonderfully made. And that was just like, wow, that is so cool that God is somehow working in my body and I don't even know it. And just to know that, I don't know, just that this world is so cool and that, you know, God really did design everything and it's really, you know, there and there is evidence and it's just so cool to like continue researching and find more and more evidence. Um, yeah, so that was from Colossians 1.15. Um, super cool. It's called the the, if you read the entire passage, also really cool. It's called The Supremacy of the Son of God. Um, but anyway, it's super cool. Um, yeah, and then just other things I guess I wanted to say. Um, so I haven't actually seen the movie, but um, I've heard really good recommendations for it. And I can also put the trailer in the 
description box, um, but Case for Christ, um, it's essentially about this guy who's an atheist and he, um, his wife becomes a Christian and through that he tries to um, do all this research and figure out if Christianity is actually like legit and if God's real and whatnot. So um, I really want to watch that, so when I do watch it I'll let you guys know what I thought. Um, and then also God's Not Dead, that's a super good movie if you're looking to um, find out more about God and whether he's real or not. And yeah, so super cool stuff. Um, it's so amazing, honestly. Like for me, faith is something I have to live my life better. Like my youth leader always told me, like you know, even if God isn't real, like it's so awesome to know that I'm living my life better in a more positive, effective way. Um, believing that Jesus is real. Um, and even if he's not, like, I lived a better life, you know? Um, so it's like, it's for me, it's not even about how real it is. It's about having faith and hope and living a better life. And, um, but it's also cool to be reassured that, you know, this could be legit and, you know, maybe God is real. And, um, you know, we'll never fully know, but um, it's still really cool to be reassured and to find little things that, you know, hint to it or um, prove God in some way. Um, and I know there's many things as well that doesn't prove God um, and proves that God's not real, but there will always be conflicting answers and eventually just what it comes down to is making a decision for yourself, whether you're going to, you know, live a better life for yourself. That's what it really comes down for me, I think. Um, so yeah, just really cool stuff. I mean, you can either choose to believe or not to believe. Um, there's tons of evidence, but there's also tons of disproving evidence. So really what it all comes down to is your choice. Um, yeah, I'll probably do a third video on this. Um, and if God is real and more evidence and more stuff I find, um, maybe within the next few weeks or whatnot. But um, yeah, so that's pretty much it for this video. I hope your summer is going well. And yeah, um, if God puts you to it, he'll put you through it. Bye, guys.